I have previously reviewed quite a few programs by Mojave. This one this time is for the bundle called Mojave Video Suite 14. This is the interface that the program launches. By default you're on the video tab, there's also audio, photo, data and extras. Up here let's go to the settings, you can select your interface language here, check for updates when the program starts or not and also help improve the program by sending anomalous usage stats to Mojave or not. Some people don't like this sort of thing but I tend to leave it ticked. It's a, bun it's a bundle of a lot of their programs such as their video editor, their screen capture program and some of their other tools bundled into one big interface here that you can launch them from and save money instead of buying them more separately. So if we click convert a video, as you can see it has basically launched their video converter program called Mojave Video Converter, which is also available separately and I have reviewed this program previously. Let's close out of that. And it goes back to the main menu. You can now see you also have edit video. As you can see that has launched Mojave Video Editor which is also available separately and I have reviewed before. It is also coming soon from Mac but is only on Windows at this time. Let's close out of that. Back, we're now back to the main interface. You can then say select split video. As you can see, this is launch a program which is available separately. I haven't reviewed it before separately though, and it is available on Mac, I believe. It's called Mojave Video Split or Split Video. You can basically, it's a very general editor to mostly split and join videos together. It's not as full featured as, say, their video editor or their converter, but it so uh, worth having in this bundle, I probably wouldn't buy it separately, but it's handy to have if you've got the video suite. Now we're back to the main interface. Right, now we have another section here under video called record computer screen and capture from cameras, VHS and TV. Now hit record screen and it will bring up their screen capture program which is available separately. It says video suite is already running. That's odd. Okay, I know why. The reason this is, is because I'm using a separate program, Mojave Video Capture, to actually record this video, so it won't let me run it again. So I'll include a screenshot in the video instead. So we're now back to the main interface, and we can try the other option find any devices to use because I don't have any but you would select the device here you'd select the source where you want to send it to you select the audio device and source and the output output folder for final video and its file name and then you could hit start caption here you also got your play rewind buttons here preview you got tools up Okay, now back to the main menu and down the bottom here you have another section for burning DVD, CDs and Blu-rays for watching 2D and 3D movies which is basically a media player and sharing your videos online. So let's take a look at the first one. Okay, it comes up with browse folder. Let's just exit out of that. You drag your files in this area. We're under video. You could also go to audio make a data DVD or copy to copy from one DVD or Blu-ray or whatever to another here. Here you can launch a media player which supports both 2D and 3D video files as well as DVDs. Here's a media player as you can see it supports 3D. This here is a playlist button. 
there you go you can show how to play this you can click here to download some codecs you may need settings including acceleration by Envita but it uses CUDA which has been taken out of latest drivers unfortunately it also supports Envita 3D Vision okay so let's exit out of that you also have share videos online this is a program that you might expect to see in a video editor you add your video files here that you want to upload to YouTube or Facebook it also supports Amazon S3 or your own FTP server you can add a folder or a single file here preferences is basic this audio uh, your interface language or anonymous usage stats like in the other programs you can authenticate and add your various accounts such as Facebook here including one I haven't heard of and Vimeo Amazon S3 and FTP which is quite handy wouldn't buy it separately myself but it's good to have in this suite Under audio tab you have the options to convert audio, record some sound, burn audio to a CD or play music. Let's see what the first does. That is just brought up media converter again. Record sound. Record sound brings up a program very similar to the other capture program for capturing VHS etc except for it's all aimed at just audio you would record set your recording device recording source which is basically like your USB microphone in this case the Snowball by Blue microphones set the quality in this case that's all it, all it is anyway it's just uh, CD quality 16 bit uh, 44 100 hertz then select how you'd like to save it such as lossless audio which doesn't com uh, doesn't compress at all or you convert, can convert it for a certain device, your user defined settings, or let's say something like that. You have preset then, depending upon what you selected here. You have good, high, or higher quality. Output folder, file name, playback, stop, start recording, done when you finish using the program. Preferences is just user stats again and English language and select your language. And that's about it. It's a straightforward audio capture program. That's it done. Let's have a look at burn audio to CD. And that I won't bother showing you full. It's basically just that other program I showed you under the video section for burning discs. Play music. Play mu music I will close because it's just open the media player that I showed you a minute ago in the video section. Photo, convert images, create your own slideshows and share your photos online. Let's start at the top. That is just the media com uh, media converter again. Create slideshows. I'll close that. That is just open the video editor which has slideshow capabilities. Share photos online. Again, uh, uh, YouTube and Vimeo sort of tool again I showed you in the video section data burn discs copy disc to disc basically uh, copy one DVD to another you know etc and archive your v AVC HD video now these two I uh, definitely will bring be bring out these here will bring up the uh, program I showed you in the video section. I just need to double check this. That brings up the capture tool again that I showed you in the video section. So this is basically all the stuff you got. I've shown you before. Extras. There's an ebook movie making in one hour. That just loads a web browser because you have to buy it in the UK. It's about six pounds. Stock video footage, that will also be a link. These are all links to get extra effects that you can buy. Some are free. Stock video footage you may need to use, which is quite handy. Uh, these are mostly aimed at the video editor. You can also buy their audio suite with 30% off if you have this one. Photo editor at 30% off if you own this program. 
and then links to their social media such as their Facebook here. So if you want some of their programs such as uh, Video Converter and the Video Editor and may only occasionally need some of their other tools, uh, this is a good bet, get the Video Suite because then you're saving money, you've got a whole bunch of their programs all in one here and you'll go save yourself some money. Especially when it includes some of the ones I perhaps wouldn't buy separate such as the Media Player. So you're saving yourself money and getting a few that you perhaps won't pay for separately. So I do recommend it. It's a handy little tool. It's only available on Windows at the moment, as well as some of the programs in it is only available for Windows, such as the video editor, which, but that is coming out soon to Mac. So if you're a Mac user, still check out their website because there'll be some there for you. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful and I hope you helped that you could take a look at the program before you tried it. Also, I believe there is a trial. There is a trial of some of separate programs anyway. So, please like and share this video. Do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel here because it will help me out a lot and it only takes a few seconds. Thanks.